Surveyor 1 was launched on May 30th, 1966 at 2.41 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 36A at Cape Canaveral. Its goal was to become the first American lunar lander four months after the Soviet Union made the first soft landing on the moon with Luna 9. While Luna 9 would be followed by Luna 13, which was roughly similar, though with more scientific instruments, Surveyor was the first in a sequence of seven identical landers, of which five landed safely and two crashed. Here, the budget available for the United States space program during the 1960s was in full display, and has been impossible for anyone to match such a cadence of lunar landing attempts seven in a year and a half since. The Surveyor program was the second major lunar program for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory after the fraught Ranger program, but it continued the positive turn in JPL's fortunes after Ranger 7. The Surveyor probes were launched on an Atlas LV-3C rocket with a Centaur upper stage with two RL-10 engines. The Centaur stage had been developed by NASA specifically for the Surveyor program and survived a very rocket development including opposition from Werner von Braun. At one point, President John F. Kennedy considered cancelling the project out of concern that it was an unnecessary money sink. Its first flight was in 1962, and it had seven development flights leading up to this first actual mission four years later. During that time, it went through four different versions, so this is the Centaur D. In this launch, the Centaur finally proved its worth, delivering the first of its intended payloads on a translunar trajectory. For the next 50 or so years, Centaur has been a mainstay of the American space program, with its incredibly efficient engines and lightweight cryogenic balloon tanks, which were so hard to develop in the first place. This is where that legacy began. The Severe probe had a launch mass of about one ton, just a bit lighter than Luna 9's 1.6 tons, unlike many American probes, which tended to be much lighter. The landing mass was around 300 kilograms, which was heavier than Luna 9's 99 kilograms, but that was because Surveyor 1 would not be ejecting an egg-shaped capsule at the very end, so the mass on the surface included more hardware. Surveyor 1 also carried more scientific instruments than Luna 9, including a soil sampler, and later Surveyor probes would add to the scientific payload. While Luna 9's main descent was handled by a large liquid fuel bus that the probe was ejected from, Surveyor 1's descent was mostly handled by a solid rocket motor that was itself ejected while the probe retained most of its instrumentation as well as the vernier thrusters which handled the final phase of descent. Surveyor 1's verniers had substantially more delta V and thrust than Luna 9's and burned for two minutes. Like Luna 9 though, the engines cut out a few meters above the surface to avoid blasting the surface and disturbing the samples the probe was sent to analyze. Surveyor 1 landed on Oceanus Procellarum, the Ocean of Storms. Surveyor 2 crashed because the vernier failed to ignite. Surveyor 3 also landed on the Ocean of Storms, but not before hopping a few times because its verniers failed to shut down. Surveyor 4 lost communication during the solid motor burn, so the general suspicion was that the motor exploded. Surveyor 5 was the first to land at the Sea of Tranquility, where the Apollo 11 crewed lunar landing would set down. Surveyor 6 was successful and initiated the first deliberate liftoff from the lunar surface, moving itself to a new location a few meters from its first landing spot. It transmitted 30,000 images back to Earth, and with Surveyor 6, the objectives the program needed to get done for Apollo were complete, so the success of Surveyor 7 was a bonus. While that final probe was last contacted in February of 1968, the Surveyor story was not yet complete, in November of 1969, Apollo 12 made a pinpoint landing to visit Surveyor 3, demonstrating a capability essential for the construction of a lunar base, which has subsequently not been put to use. And with that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Surveyor 1.